Welcome to this video presentation on quantization error. Um, and this is an issue that arises when you capture a discrete data or capture a discrete signal. Now in an earlier presentation we ran through a, an overview on how a signal of interest can be converted into a discrete signal. Um, I'll, I'll quickly run through that again. So basically um, in order to convert our signal of interest, which um, it might be heat or light or sound or any signal that we're interested in, in order to convert it into a discrete signal, it must first be converted into a voltage signal. Um, now, in order to do that, we make use of a transducer or a sensor, which will convert the signal of interest into the voltage signal. Now, the reason why we need the voltage signal is because we have this device called an analog to digital converter, ADC. Um, which will convert a voltage signal into a sequence of numbers, which of course is our discrete signal. Uh, that discrete signal can then be stored in memory. Okay, now quantization um, is an issue that really uh, is, is the, the source of it is with the analog to digital converter. So we're just going to focus in on that device. So I'm just going to remove the other elements of the block diagram. And I'd like to just break down the tasks of the analog to digital converter into two. So there's two tasks which I just like to explicitly identify. Uh, the first task is to well the first task is to measure the voltage at the sampling interval. So we need to measure that voltage um, every so often and that every so often is specified by the sampling interval. So measure the voltage at the specified sampling interval. Okay, so that's step one. We get the voltage every so often. And the second step is to convert that voltage signal into the number. So we need to convert a voltage measured into a number. Okay, so there's the two basic tasks associated with the analog to digital converter. Now it's the second task in which the quantization issue arises, and that's what we're going to focus on. So just let me clear that. And in order to get a full understanding about this issue, quantization, you need to understand the limitations of the analog to digital converter. And the first limitation is that the input voltage has a limited range. For example, it might be limited between 0 and 5 volts. So that's one example. It could be 0 to 10 volts or minus 10 volts to plus 10 volts. In this case, we're just going to use an example of 0 to 10 volts. The other limitation is that the output, the numerical values, also have a, uh, a limited range. So I'm going to use a value of 0 to 15 as the range of possible values for our analog to digital converter. Um, now, in reality, that'll be quite low, but it, it, it will serve the purpose. And you will understand why I chose the values of 0 to 15, hopefully by the end of this um, sequence of presentations. Um, so now, let's think about what might happen uh, in the event that we um, are using the analog to digital converter to measure some voltage signal. And we will think about, well, what happens at certain time instants, okay, when we measure a certain voltage, and we'll be interested in finding out, well, what numerical output should we expect from our analog to digital converter? So, uh, first of all, let's think about what happens if the voltage is our, uh, at time zero, and the voltage is a value of five. So we have five volts going in. Um, what would we expect our numerical output to be? Um, well, this value of 5 is the maximum input. Okay, So I would expect then that our numerical value will be the maximum output, which is 15. Okay. Now, at the next sampling interval, so I'm just going to label sampling interval t, equal to 0, well, we'll just use an example, 0, 0 0.01, so 1 millisecond, it doesn't really matter, but uh, so one sampling interval later, uh, 
let's imagine that we read a voltage of zero. So we've measured a voltage of zero and that measured voltage now needs to be converted into a number. So the value of zero is the minimum possible voltage. So I'd expect that the output would be the minimum possible a numerical value uh, which would be zero. So I think that's reasonable to expect. Um, now let's say this, the next sampling interval later imagine we measured a value of one volt and I might just write out a few more now 3t, imagine we read 3, 4t, um, 1 again, 5t, 1.2, actually I'll change that to 0. Point, um, let's see, 8, 5, um, 6t, 1.2, and 7t, um, let's make that a value of 2.9. Okay, so there's a, a sequence of numbers. So we've measured eight, eight voltages, and each of those eight voltages now have to be converted into numbers. So if 5 volts was mapped onto uh, a numerical value of 15 and 0 was mapped onto 0, well, let's see, if 5 goes to 15, well then it's safe to assume that if I applied 1 volt, and this was a linear linear type operation, I'd expect 1 volt to produce uh, a numerical value of 3 as its output. And if I applied a voltage of, of 3, I'd expect then the numerical output will be 3 times the previous one because that was 1 volt, I'd expect a value of 9. Um, and this next value should be then be 3. And we have a nice basic operation. We, we would say that the, the voltage, or sorry, the numerical um, value outputted, A, would be equal to tr 3 times the voltage measured. So 3V. So it's quite straightforward. Um, this next output what would be then 2.55 and the next one would be 3.6 uh, let me change that value actually because I, I, I want to use a different value let's make that 3.15 okay you'll see why later on so 3 times 1.5 would be 3.5 Four five, so three times one point one five would be three point four five, and the next one then would be th three times two point nine, which would be um, seven, and uh, three twos six, and two is eight eight point seven. Okay, so there's our numerical values that we get out of our analog to digital converter, given that we're we're limited to this range. Okay. Now, let's imagine the situation now where I was just given the sequence of numbers. So we've done our analog to digital conversion and um, the discrete signal was stored in memory. And now I'm just analyzing the signal. So I have the data stored in memory. I'm going back now to this data, looking at it at a later time. And I wanted to work out, well, what was the voltage um, applied during the capture of these sequence of numbers. Well, let's see, what would I say? Well, the first output I would say would be, well, 15 was applied, well, I would be able to safely say, well, the output would be, f the voltage applied would have been five. So, when the numerical value was zero, I'd assume that the voltage applied was zero. Likewise, if the voltage applied, sorry, if the numerical value I read in memory was 3, then I would assume that the voltage applied was 1. And I know that this seems trivial, but maybe it'll make sense in a, in a few moments. Um, but for each of these numerical values, remembering that all I have are these numerical values stored in memory, I don't have the voltages anymore, I would be able to guess that the output, the applied voltage, would be 3, 1, 0 0.85, 1.15, and 2.9. And that would be accurate. So given these list of numbers I'd be able to say well that was what the voltage 
that that is the list of voltages that were were applied for this sequence of numbers, and there wouldn't be any issue. Now, there is an issue. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking about um, talking about quantization. Uh, so I just want to undo all this first. Now, the issue is. Um, this range of numbers we said is between 0 and 5, there is an additional constraint. And the, the additional constraint is that these must be integers. So must be integers. And this is an additional constraint, which I will explain in the next presentation. But it is a constraint um, of an analog to digital, to digital converter. So let's imagine. Well, let's not imagine, but what would happen if we impose that additional constraint? We have a new set of values of a, which I'm going to call a hat. Um, and the values of a hat, well, these first values would be fine, so that would be 15, 0, 3, 9, 3, because these are all integers, so that's not a problem. It's only when we get down to these last values. Well, what do we have now? Um, our rounded values would now be 3, and this value rounded would also be 3. The nearest integer would be a value of 3. So I think you can see why I changed this from 1.2 to 1.15 now. Um, but we'd have this sequence of numbers um, that are integers only, and this would be a value of 9. Now let's think about what uh, our, our guessed voltage might be. So Let's think of re revisit the situation where now we have this sequence of numbers and we wanted to guess what the applied voltage was. Well, we might guess that first output, yeah, the first output was 15, so I would assume a voltage applied was, was 5. And in this case here, I would say the guessed applied voltage would be 0 for this one, 1 for this one here. If I saw this numerical value, and I say, well, the voltage applied must have been three. This one here, I'll guess that it was it was one. Uh, when I get to this value here, I'll say, okay, like, yeah, I guess that was one. This voltage, if I if I saw this value as a discrete um, part of my discrete signal, I would say the applied voltage is one there as well, and I would say it's three here. And now, if we compare my guessed voltage against the actual applied voltage we can see that there is a difference and that difference is basically our quantization error so there's an error between our guessed voltage and the actual voltage applied so the error is zero in a lot of cases here um, but it's when we get down to these last numbers um, we can see the quantization error start to, to, to take a uh, play a role. Uh, so the error in this case would be 0 0.45, the error in this case would be uh, 0 0.45 as well, 0 0.45, and the error in this case would be 0 0.3. Okay, so um, I've used up a lot of space here and also a lot of time, so what I'm going to do in the next presentation is maybe go back to this um, this situation and try to clarify what quantization error is through a few plots but hopefully you're starting to get the basic idea okay thank you for your attention